Entitled mom demands my drink for her kid. Gets mad when she finds out that I spoke the truth about it being alcoholic. Welcome back, but if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Now, for a bit of context, last weekend was Liberation Day in Holland, and many cities were having festivities to celebrate. Most of these festivities have free entrance, so they tend to crack down on people bringing their own food and drinks to increase profit from beverage sales. Maid of mine lives within the area where the festival is taking place though, so usually we drop our booze at his place and retrieve it during the festival. Since it didn't seem like a terrific idea to walk around with a bottle of JD, I mixed it into a one liter Coca-Cola vanilla bottle with just enough Coke that it looked like Coke and went onto the festival grounds. I'm assuming everybody's familiar with the common abbreviations, JD is my good friend Jack Daniels, we've been through a lot together. While rocking around with a bottle of Coke, I felt a tap on my shoulder. Festival etiquette is to move over to the side to let somebody pass, after which I move along. I suddenly feel a hand grabbing my shoulder and trying to pull me back. So I turn around and I'm faced with a typical Karen. She goes, where do you get that? Putting at the bottle. I brought it from home. Can my kid have some? Me not wanting everybody to know I had booze on me. They sell Coke over there. You can buy your kid a fresh, cold one. They don't sell vanilla Coke here and he doesn't like the regular one. He wants yours. Holds out hand. If he doesn't like the regular one, I'm pretty sure he won't like this one any better. Meanwhile, this kid has started squealing about how he's thirsty and wants that one. And the mom starts giving me a demanding stare. Okay, lady, I'm going to be honest with you. Half of this bottle is whiskey and I don't think it's a good idea to give the kid whiskey. You're lying. You made that up so you wouldn't have to share with my baby. Now give it to me. And while I shrug and turn around in an attempt to disappear into the crowd, the kid crabs a bottle with both hands wrenches it from my hand, and makes a run for it, his mom in tow. I follow them, and I find them just in time to see the kid take a few massive swigs from the bottle, after which he starts violently throwing up almost immediately. Figuring the best move for me would be to not further pursue the now vomit-covered bottle of Jack and Coke, I decide to head over to my mates and mix a new one. In passing, I throw the mom a told ya and make my way towards the crowds. Within seconds, the mom charges me and starts attempting to take a swig at me. You poisoned my baby! Security! We're separated by bystanders, and a stall holder gets security, which questions both me and the mom. He gave my baby this bottle of poison and told him it was coke. I want him arrested. Sir, what's in the bottle? A pre-mixed whiskey and coke, somewhat on the generous side with the whiskey. And why did you give it to the kid? I didn't, sir. I was mostly planning on getting smashed myself to be fair. They thought it was coke, wouldn't believe me when I told them it was booze, and snatched the bottle from me. What you're seeing here is just the result of the kid taking a drink before I was able to stop him. At this point, a bystander chimes in, confirming that he saw the kid snatch the bottle from my hand, although he hadn't heard the conversation. Security tells the mom to not pull that crap again, and to take her crying kid to the first aid post, and instructs me to be more careful with the next batch I'm inevitably about to make. What's crazy to me is that this lady not only first thought it was okay to take drink from a stranger, number two, thought it was okay to give this drink to her child, and number three, refuses to listen to the truth that this stranger was drinking at a festival. That's common to do at said festival. Not only is this completely stupid, but I had to applaud OP here because I would have gone off on this lady and just walked away. How can you be that entitled to think that you deserve a stranger's drink to encourage your child to act in such a miserable way? I don't know how old this child is, but this is not a great example to set. This child is about to be way worse when they get older. Kid finds a bike in my backyard. Mom goes berserk when I take it back. FAQ. I'm the father, as in male. We have potatoes with peas and carrots with sausage for dinner. Yes, I'm a male that knows how to cook. The bike will never be left unattended outside. And yes, I have a sturdy lock. I located and took a picture of the serial number. Backstory, I'm a single parent. I have a beautiful girl that's turning five in August. The past year, I've been fighting with ex that tried to keep my kid away from me. Lawyers aren't cheap and being single doesn't exactly help with finances. A couple months ago, I won the lawsuit and I finally got to have my kid at my home again. For the past few weeks, she was saying that she wanted a bicycle, but still recovering from the lawsuit bills, I wasn't able to afford it. Past week, I got my summer bonus, which finally gave me the financial boost I needed. So yesterday, I finally was able to buy my little girl the bike she wanted so badly. I enjoyed my time with her riding our bikes, but then it was getting time for dinner, which I still had to make. 
So we head back home and park the bikes in the backyard. We go inside and I start making dinner. After about 10 minutes, I spot movement in the corner of my eye through the kitchen window. It's on the side of the house. I see this kid guessing six or seven years old, just casually strolling by with a brand new bike I just got today. My heart dropped and I run to the front door hoping I'd catch him before he rides away. I was lucky I did. I yanked the bike out of his hands and freaked out to him saying it was mine and he had no right to just walk into other people's backyards to take things. I was pissed. I forced him to get the F off my property and set the bike on my front halfway thinking it's over. Boy was I wrong. After comforting my little girl that never saw me this mad, poor thing, I returned to the kitchen to continue making dinner. 15 minutes later, doorbell rings. It's the kid and his evil mother. You give my boy this bike back. He found it. It's his. He found it in my backyard. I got it for my kid today. You should try teaching your damn kid some manners. He shouldn't trespass on other people's property to take their things. Don't tell me how to raise my kid. Give me the bike back or I'm calling the police. Um, call the damn police. And I slammed the door in her face. By this point, my four-year-old is crying her eyes out and I get to comfort her again. And she's thinking she's lost her brand new bike. Her sobbing finally over, I try continuing to make dinner yet again. Preparation's done. I'm about to put all this on the stove. Doorbell. I flip out, storm to the door, violently open it, getting ready to just explode in the bee's face. Guess what? She actually called the cops. I instantly calm down when I see the police and invite one of the officers inside while the other stays with the evil woman. I explain the situation and shows him the box the bike came in, along with the receipt that has my name on it. He shrugs and apologizes for the inconvenience, assures me I won't be bothered again. I let him out and close the door with a smug smile on my face. I check the front window to see what's happening and I see her going to a full tantrum. It ends with her into handcuffs and on the back seat of the patrol car. Bye, Felicia. Don't know what happened to her and I don't care. I finally finished dinner and my kid still has her bike. That's all that matters to me. Boy, what a day. This happened to my sister-in-law. Some lady stole their cat. When it went missing, they asked all the neighbors and she said she hadn't seen it. Her husband was able to see into the neighbor's backyard and saw their cat. So he hopped the fence and got her. Later, they heard her knock at the door and it's the cops with the lady saying they stole her cat. My sister-in-law, ever being the documentarian of the family, whips out two years of photos of them with the cat. The lady was pissed. Her reasoning was that she said the cat was uncared for and malnourished, but she was just a small cat. People are wild. People call the cops all the time for no reason. I have a customer in my restaurant call the cops on me once a month. Turns out customers have very little rides inside of a business. My place is near a rough area of town, so we get all types. Had some giant threaten to call the cops on me because his medium rear steak still had blood coming out of the center. I said, yeah, call the cops. And he threatened to hurt me. So I called them. He was arrested and had warrants for his arrest due to other things. Idiot. Another guy said we stole his property because he lost his phone. He was trespassed from the property too and is no longer allowed back. People call the cops all the time. Don't know why they think it's going to work out for them. This is one of the reasons why I don't like the customers always right saying, because number one, the customers usually aren't. Having worked in food service before, they usually aren't correct, especially when you tell them that you can't get something or you can't do something. They call the manager thinking it's gonna work out. And of course the manager doesn't like bad reviews. So they're gonna give them what they want, which is so awful because then customers are gonna think that they can just do whatever they want, especially in these fast food places and the employees are gonna suffer the most because we all know how people treat fast food or minimum wage workers. Not well at all. It's like customers feel a sense of power when they go into these places thinking they can push people around and get whatever they want. I guess a free for all. That's a really bad mindset to give to people, especially people who love to complain and think that they can never be wrong. You're just validating them. Also this lady and her child, I'm certain that they planned this because there's no way that he's in there for like 10 minutes and then they steal the bicycle from the exact spot that he put it. They were probably watching him and watching where he put the bike and I feel like the mother told her kid to go take the bike to steal it and then she throws this huge fit when she gets caught. I don't know what's going into her brain and I don't want to. It doesn't even matter. She just needs consequences and to learn how to be a better person, a decent person at the very least. 